8 to 20 in the morning, Fiji time. Fiji is an island in the Pacific. Tennessee became a junior master scuba diver with the certification that he gained on that day, which also happened to be his birthday. That's cool enough, but the other really cool thing is that Tennessee is now the youngest person in the world with that designation and that qualification. So that's what we're here to recognize today, first of all, with the first round of accomplishment is very, very cool. I really like the fact that he's a good friend and he's very nice, very enthusiastic. He's very caring and I think that it was great for him. I think he was the de definite one that he was the one that should be a, that should have accomplished the world record. I think he was the greatest one for this challenge. Do you have a message you would give to other, other people your age that they were trying to do something that's really hard or challenging? Um, yeah. If people who tried like trying to break a world record um, never really give up because I almost gave up a couple times and 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 if they and if they try just don't give up just like keep trying. First met T at the lower school here at, here at Winston. Uh, he demonstrated. Um, a lot of motivation and uh, hard work and dedication and I feel like him able to accomplish this pretty deep kind of feeds off of his classroom performance. Um, he's never the student to give up or um, you know just quit on an assignment or homework or a test. He always does give 100% and I feel like without that dedication in school and outside of school it would be you know, very hard to accomplish something like that. There was no ambition for the world record. Um, we just, he needed something to do. We were new in town and he was homesick for his best friend from home. And he just, he didn't have any real interests other than playing Legos and playing with his brother. So we were looking for something that we thought he would like to do. And because he had been diving in Bora Bora with, um, with our family on a family Thanksgiving trip, he, we thought maybe he would be interested in diving here. So we went down to House of Scuba and they recommended that we talk to Bethy um, because she'd worked with kids that like had special needs and different challenges. And then as soon as he met Bethy, they've been, seems like they've been best friends ever since. It, a master scuba diver, especially in Southern California, it, it, like I said, it does take a lot of dedication it, and it takes a positive attitude towards diving. Think about it, every single time we try to go dive in Southern California, we need to add on neoprene, weights, equipment, and then we need to do a shore dive and swim about 15 minutes to our dive site every day. And so in order to dive in Southern California every day, it does take a lot of hard work and a positive attitude. 